Hello guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. So I haven't done a uh, tutorial kind of in like two weeks on something that actually might help people. So here's something that might actually help you guys. So one, let's learn how to sculpt some scars. So one, you can do two things. You can draw sharp or you can draw with a crease brush. So let's start with the crease brush, make sure it's on plus, something around 0.3. And uh, let's see, where have where have I not done it? This is a Mad Eye Moody, by the way. Um, let's do one right here, right over his eye. Super, super awesome. There wasn't actually a tutorial on how to do this, um, so I'm wanting to make one. So there's uh, one scar, and you can also do it with the draw sharp. Make sure it's on plus, maybe something around 0.3, 0 0.5, and let's do it over the lips. And this one's uh, kind of cooler. I like that. So we have all these scars. I mean, he's super beat up. Um, it said in the book that he was actually super beat up, so, you know, we're kind of going by the book here, unlike the movie. Uh, so we have that. And now we're going to go back in here, and we're going to learn how to texture that procedurally. So, one, we have the Grinch skin. Um, it, it's literally just animal flesh. I just call it Grinch skin. And um, it's super, you know, imperfect. Makes it look really good. And then we have the regular human skin. We have the skin mask for the nose, as you can see. And uh, then we have all that together with the scar map. And we are actually going to learn how to make uh, this scar map, actually. So uh, what we can do is I'm going to stick this back in here uh, just to show you exactly how I did it. So um, I'm going to uh, make a new one. We're just going to call this scar guy mask and change both of these to 2048 by 2048 and you can just leave it on uh, black right there and then we can go down and we have the scar guy mask you can see i've already made a couple um because i do a lot of these takes so we have got our map but the thing is is that we don't really have a lot on him uh so what we're gonna do is first I'm just gonna delete both of these right we're going to want to start painting on this mask but before we do that we're going to put in a mix or an RGB curve right we're gonna put the color of all of this stuff into this mix RGB we're gonna put the color of it into this color and this color into the second color so basically it's saying that wherever the white lines are in contrast to the black lines those white lines are going to be this and we're just going to make this um, actually a little lighter uh, but you can't see anything right now because we haven't done anything so remember to save your map before we go into texture paint and now we are going into texture paint so let's pick white because white is the opposite of black and we want a fully white color so that we'll be able to procedurally control everything so we can just do this and the cool thing is we even have this so we can see it better there we go and so we just want to go over that and if you want to change uh, your stroke which you might actually want to or your fall off amount um, go to uh, sharp right here and this sharp or maybe even that sharp um, is going to change uh, maybe even make it look a bit better so we have that one uh, there's a couple going down the eyes so let's you know do those real quick there's one over here one there one over there and one over there and then let's do the one across uh, the lip and let's do the one on the eye. I think we already did that. Maybe nope, we didn't. Um, let's do that one. Let's lower the brush even more. Do that, and then do this one 
one here. And uh, there's also one on the side. I guess I did a lot. So um, let's go back to Wave and uh, see how we can kind of make it look um, even better. So the reason is you kind of just need the mix RGB uh, or the RGB curve. This is literally going to do it. You can do it like that. Or let's say we want it to be a different color. You know, we don't want it to be. Um, all those skin tones. So let's change this black onto something like um, this light red here. And uh, I'm going to do the same for this guy. So let's put these maybe closer together or something. And then let's bring this down slowly. And then you'll start to see um, kind of what you want them to look like. And you know it sticks out, and then you, you don't even have to do this one. You can do like full on red, make it super bloody and stuff. And uh, this is lighter, of course. This is super dark, and so we, you know, want to meet somewhere in the middle. And then maybe even add a skin tone somewhere in there, you know, something uh, like that, just to not go too crazy with it. And um, the lighter skin look is kind of what you want to go for you know the pinkish skin because that's actually what scars look like you know you can get some reference footage if you would like to um that might help um and honestly play around with it but that's how you procedurally uh color them and that's how you sculpt scars so thank you for watching and i'll see you later